Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Dockery. In my life, I have worn many hats and tasted many flavors. As I travel the world, I explore the finest cities in search for culture, history, and great food. Along the way, I get to meet today's most interesting celebrities, focusing on the positive side of life, allowing them to share their causes, charities, and what truly fascinates them. We cook and dine with some of the finest chefs of our time, preparing healthy and delicious meals in some of the hottest restaurants. Also, we showcase the latest, most creative, and hippest trends of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I pursue my passion for health and fitness and acquire some of the most innovative wellness strategies. And now, I want to share this all with you. So so come along on this amazing journey and together we will experience a world of health, beauty, and life. On today's show, we're keeping it fresh and nutritious with Freshology, a revolutionary concept of delivering healthy prepared foods straight to your doorstep. Next, the self-proclaimed glam-obsessed Persian princess, Lily Galici, star of Shaz of Sunset, takes time to share her story and poses for an unforgettable rooftop photo shoot looking down on none other than Sunset Boulevard. First, let's check out Freshology and how they're delivering a new, exciting in-home dining experience. Hi, everybody. Today we're here with Todd DeMann in your lovely home. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. And you are the founder of Freshology. Yes, you know, started it in 2005. Ooh, nice. And it is an amazing concept. I'm so excited for our audience to find out more about it. And who do we have over here? This is Chef Rafi. He's our culinary director. Ah, Chef Rafi. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Do you design all the food or is there a, is there a group of chefs or are you the primary chef? Or? I'm, yeah, I'm the primary chef. I'm writing all the menus, uh, you know, work with a couple of people back at the team. A lot of collaboration also with Todd. Great, great. Now, the first thing that I want people to know about is this amazing concept and how it got started. And I know you've been in the restaurant business for quite a long time. And you've brought, what, gourmet cooking with convenience and also the nutritional aspect as well as freshness to the general public. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, well, I've always been I've always been a big foodie ever since I've been very young. And actually, in five years old, I was eating escargot and, wow. and frog's legs. So I've always been into, into great kinds of foods and healthy foods. Uh, and, you know, being in the restaurant business before, I saw a need for, you know, for people to eat healthy. So my concept was to come together and find very highly trained, successful, you know, chefs that came from the finest restaurants. Such restaurant. as Chef Rafi? Exactly, who, who came from the finest restaurant in Los Angeles come together and create these really dynamic recipes, make really smart substitutions, and create a gourmet restaurant style experience in your home. So you're their helper, you're their little helper. You're you're yeah. their chef in a box, right? It's like a support system, yeah, Absolutely. chef in a box, that's good. Yeah, right. It's all about the creative process and striving for very, very high quality when, yeah. when we're cooking. So, Chef Rafi, what do we have today? What are we preparing today? Today we're gonna do a roasted tilapia. Oh. with some Chinese black rice, Ooh, which is a delicious, rice. nutty, uh, beautiful rice. And then we have uh, an array of some farmer's market vegetables that are very seasonal and very simply prepared with a little bit of a basil puree to act as a sauce okay. and some uh, marigold flowers that beautiful. add a nice uh, presentation. We have some heirloom carrots that are roasted in olive oil. Mm -hmm. We have some patty pan squash right here. Some tiny little baby potatoes that are nice and sweet and earthy some Japanese mushrooms that we've sauteed lightly in olive oil. Okay. Um, and here's that basil puree. And it, and it sounds really simple, uh, but I think if you taste it, you'll see it has an intense herb flavor to it, a, a basil flavor to it. We triple blanch the basil uh, until it kind of concentrates. Okay. And then uh, we shock it in ice. Okay. And then blend it with a little olive oil. One of the keys to Freshology is the beautiful sauces that you make. They don't add a lot of calories, but they add sure. a lot of flavor. Is that correct? It's all about intense flavor. I mean, because that's what you, you're, since you're not adding butter or you're yes. not adding fats, right. you know, fats give you flavor. Right. You have to substitute that with something else. Yeah. So Rafi has all these sneaky culinary techniques where he's able to produce really intense flavors in sauces. And people are really kind of surprised. They're like, wow, that's really, that's really great. That's really flavorful. But we're not adding any calories. And what type of fish do we have? today. We're using some tilapia. Again, all of our ingredients we try to find that either all natural, organic, or sustainable. Okay, great. Well, let's get started. Show us what you're doing with your fish. Sounds good. Stick around for a delicious dish from Freshology. Welcome back. All right, let's get back in the kitchen with Freshology. One important thing to, to start is obviously seasoning your fish. Um, so we use sea salt 
Uh, I prefer to use sea salt. It's more natural, it's not processed. And we're seasoning both sides of it. Fish should not taste fishy right. if it's fresh. Absolutely. So uh, the next thing is a nonstick pan. Yeah. Uh, I love using a nonstick pan because uh, obviously it, it's a lot easier. Don't need and the butter and everything else, right? For sure, you get to use less fat. Okay. Um, and speaking of fat, again, the one of the healthiest and most delicious fats that, that we use a lot of is uh, extra virgin olive oil. Oh yeah. Yeah. So another a good tip for cooking fish uh, at home is you want to let the pan get hot first before you put the fish in, or else it's going to stick. Yeah. Um, even though you're using a nonstick pan, That's right. And even if it doesn't stick, it's going to steam, and you don't want it to steam. You want it to roast. You want that. You want that sear, that caramelization. So as soon as I see a little bit of smoke coming off the pan, sure. And the oil is dancing, as they say, yep. right here. That's when I. That's when the fish goes down. That's good. And you want to put the presentation side first. Okay. And splash it away from you. Right, so you don't want to get burned right fast. Right, you don't want to get burned. So if it does splash, it goes away. The thing that I thought was so amazing about it is, is that if you're in the local region, the food comes daily. But you can ship across the nation. We can ship anywhere in the United States where FedEx delivers. And I know that you have a great support system and a great analysis system that people can go online or talk to somebody, you know, directly at Freshology to get them on the right track and keep them there, correct? Absolutely. We have a coach that you actually work with. There's somebody that is your customer service rep that actually will take you from start to finish. They know everything about you and everything that you like and don't like. Um, and you have a personal number right to their desk. And they, they help you in every which way. So if you're traveling and you need to have your food delivered to another location, they take care of it instantly. Uh -huh. If you need to have it delivered to a hotel, we can deliver it right to that's amazing. Thing. But what's also important, we, we take a lot of feedback from our customers. So we'll actually gather the feedback from our customers as, it'd be great if you had this on the menu. And then so Ralph and I sit down and figure out how we can make that yep. work. Awesome. And, and so suddenly uh, there's a group of customers that we're asking about it. And a month later, they see it on the menu. They're very excited. I would be. Yeah. This is amazing, yeah. actually. So how's the fish doing? So it's doing perfect. If this was being prepared at Freshology to be delivered for the next day yeah. or the next two days. Um, we would stop the cooking process right here. Okay. Uh, we've, we've seared both sides. You see that beautiful color? That is gorgeous and it smells wonderful. That's flavor right there. That, that is flavor. flavor. Um, so we, we would remove it at this point okay. um, where the inside center part of the fish is a little bit raw. Okay. Uh, but because it's going to be reheated, uh, as Todd mentioned, in, in, in the microwave or in the oven, we want to give it a little bit of a margin okay. to, to have space to cook for a little Great. bit longer. Okay. Very good. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're excited about what you're doing here for people. We do. You know, it, 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 it's very it's very satisfying to us that we know that we're able to help people, you know, lose weight. But also, what's really interesting is that we find that so many people are able to get off different medications because yeah. of the food that they're eating here. So their their high blood pressure goes down, their cholesterol goes yes. down. And so got those get, statin drugs, huh? Absolutely. And we get all this great feedback, and it's so exciting for people to say, you know, I struggled for so many years with right. so many different diets that I failed. They didn't have flavor. They didn't have variety. I tried Freshology. It was so easy and I lost all this weight and I didn't have to I didn't have to work at it it's very very satisfying wow and look at this gorgeous presentation and like you say Rafi you eat with your eyes right absolutely for sure now something like this is this a, is this what we'd see in a normal portion for a freshology meal absolutely and this would be a dinner type of meal this would be a dinner and you know the problem is that there's been this sort of portion distortion that goes on in America and that portions have gotten so oversized yeah. that they're not realistic anymore yeah. and you know the average consumer um, is supposed to eat about 2,000 to 2,400 calories depending on your activity levels exactly yes. okay but you know you can go to a restaurant or um, any restaurant and you can have a meal that's over 1,400 calories oh, just one meal. Absolutely. So you, consumers are eating somewhere between four to 5,000 calories. And they're not doing that much activity? None, none yeah. whatsoever. Not enough. No, not no, enough. No. Now, when did you come up with this one? Was this was this something, is one of your standard fares? Is this one that's like pretty traditional that you guys like to well, offer? Like, like most things that we, we come up with in terms of the food, uh, we let the seasons really dictate how we're going to cook. Um, so right now uh, we're approaching winter, root vegetables are big, mushrooms, potatoes are great. Um, and, and black rice to me, the nuttiness of it, it kind of reminds me of wild rice, uh, which is, uh, you know, it, to me it goes hand in hand with Thanksgiving and the holiday seasons. Yeah, right. So that's kind of where it came from. And then we just lighten it up with this, with this herb puree. Uh, we're going to garnish it with some some marigolds. Are you just showing off for me, or is this is this an everyday occurrence at this, Freshology? This is actually, you come down to our facility, you see this wow. an everyday concern. It's amazing. One, one of the interesting things that you, know, you come down, you see our facility. We make millions and millions a year, but they're all made by hand. 
There's no machine. That's awful. So that's the care that goes into it. And you see when they're plating the meals, they're putting the black rice in a specific place. They're putting a certain number of, of mushrooms in a certain place and there's consistency. Again, you're eating with your eyes. It's about freshness, it's about variety. And again, it's about something that you really want to dig into. Well guys, this is so beautiful. I hate to mess it up, but you know what? I got to taste it. You have to taste it. So I have your blessings, right? Absolutely. And I mean, this is amazing that you can create this beautiful of a plate and you can do it nationwide. Well, there's not many companies that can do this. There's a lot of either regional companies or local companies, but there isn't anybody out there that can deliver this level of quality of food nationwide. Wow, that is, that's impressive. And I mean, now we'll see what it tastes like because it looks beautiful. All right. Now we're going to see what it tastes like. Now I've got a little bit of componentry of everything here, ex with the exception of the of the carrot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna taste this out and see how I like it. Go for it. Wow. Not Talk bad. about flavor, huh? A lot of flavor. Fresh. Oh, the freshness is evident. Thank you. I mean, these mushrooms are great, and you know what? Very light. That's the idea. Not a heavy taste at all. Nope. Right. And more than being genius, which I think you both are, by the way, and I'm very impressed with what you're doing here, you're giving back to the community. Absolutely. That's very important to us. I've been on the, the board of the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank for the last four years, and part of our mission at Freshology is to help people who can't help themselves. So we do a lot of outreach to the community uh, in raising funds and helping people um, get meals on the table. Wow. And I mean, everybody has got to go to your website. And what's the, what's the website address? It's Freshology.com. Okay. And they get started right there absolutely and they could change their lives huh absolutely well thanks for all you do you're amazing you guys are uh, doing some great work and I really appreciate it I'm sure you at home appreciate it and thank you so much for being here with us and until next time just remember to enjoy coming up next we head to Sunset Boulevard to visit with glamorous Lily Galici we're back with Lily Galici Today we're here in Hollywood, right off Sunset, with one of the stars of Shaws of Sunset, Lily Galici. How are you Hi, today? Good. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much. And who's this gorgeous little girl? This is Coconut. She is the real star of the Shaws of Sunset. And look at her. She even poses for the camera. That's gorgeous. right. So, Lily, you have so much going on. How do you? A do lot. This? How do you do this all? You know what? Sometimes I ask myself the same question. It's so much, but I love every minute of it. I mean, from lashes, Lily lashes, to your swimsuit line, which mm -hmm. is called, you've coined a new phrase for it. And it's- Swim Jure. Swim Jure. I mean, amazing. It's called Half Faith Swim Jure, and Swim Jure is a word I created by mixing lingerie and swimwear. So it's exactly what it sounds like, lingerie inspired swimwear. Right. And you know, there is a trend that I saw emerging of these pool parties where girls were doing anything but swimming. Absolutely. They're in full like hair. Just, you can't swim in seven inch heels, right? No. I mean, you could try, you probably could, right? No. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> but exactly, high heels, yeah. hair, makeup, they're never even touching the water. So I realized that these girls, they just wanna look as hot as possible. So I decided to create a bikini line that made them look as hot as possible. Yeah, and you've done it. Thank you. And, and you, do you love it? I love it, and I have a partner. Her name is Jennifer Stano. She's hot, gorgeous. She models a lot for us. So it's so fun for two young women to just, you know, let out their passion and their creativity and to create things that you see on other people. Right. Well, you know, and the thing I like about you is you create out of necessity because obviously you were talking about you saw a need right. for these pool parties. Tell us about the lashes, same kind of so thing. So right? the lashes actually got created because of the reality show. I'm filming for Shaw's and we started creating our own and meshing them together. And we decided, you know what? We're gonna make this for everyone. Yeah. So we custom designed lashes and Lily Lashes was born. Well, you know what I noticed just off the bat is that when I was looking at your lashes, which are Lily Lashes, they're not completely even. And no. you've got a lot of texture in there. Yeah, so individuals are something okay. that we love, which are also in our line. So we like to stack things. So we'll wear one strip, sometimes two strips, and then we'll throw in individuals just to give it that extra wispy glam look. It's great, love it. Thank you, Good and job. I usually rock bottoms yeah. as well. We have bottom strips, bottom individuals. I'm not wearing any today. These are my natural bottoms. 
But that's just because you're at my house yeah. in the middle of the day. Yeah. Maybe once we go up to the roof to do the photo shoot. Might throw some bottoms we'll in. throw some in. And then hair is a big deal for you. Hair, I love hair. So I go by the phrase Galici Glam, which is my last name, love Galici. It. Anything glam related, I'm gonna be obsessed with. Hair, makeup, fashion, anything and everything. So I'm from Texas and hey. the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Yeah. Hair, I love know? big hair. And I'm Persian on yeah. top of that. So Persian girls already have this really full yeah. luscious hair. Mine wasn't quite as glamorous as I hoped it to be, so I use clip-in extensions. Okay. I am a huge fan of extensions. I don't recommend permanent ones, just from personal experience. Pulling on the scalp. Yeah, you the know, damage. and it causes thinning, bald spots. Yeah, it can be really devastating. And for a girl like me that spends most of her week working, I don't need glam hair nine to five. So clip-ins are so easy. You clip them on, you take them off, no commitment. Again, I only use real human hair right. and I wear lily hair. Lily hair, so you yeah. so not only do you get your eyelashes, mm -hmm. your glam wear, swim wear, mm -hmm. and now the hair. That's right. Entrepreneurial, I love That's it. That's right, I love it. I love creating things and I love sharing the things that I love and create with everybody else. Okay, coming up next, an unforgettable photo shoot overlooking downtown LA with stunning Lily Galici. We're back. Now let's head up to the rooftop with our glam girl, Lily Galici. So how did you get involved with this crazy show called Shaws of Sunset? Well, Shaws of Sunset filmed season one. I was actually approached to cast for season one. Okay. I decided against it. I had just started my bikini line. I was super busy. I was trying to work things out. I just decided it wasn't the right time or the place to be doing a reality show. The first season saw really great success, great ratings, and they approached me again a second time to cast for season two so this time I decided to go for it yeah. and I was picked and it's been a roller coaster yeah. it's been a pretty wild you know I know you don't want to say too much but I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you have stories but you know it's it's very different for me. I grew up a very sheltered life. I didn't party much. I didn't go out. I don't drink alcohol personally. Yeah, I'm same here. I can relate to that. Yeah, I have nothing against it, but I just, I don't like it. So to be thrown into this group of friends that are wild, outrageous, yeah. partying, drinking, it was a little bit of a culture shock for me. But I had an amazing summer with them, and I'm so glad to have experienced those things. And it truly does make me a better person. Maybe I'm not gonna go, you know, clubbing without them, right. but I'm glad that I, I tried it. And it really does humble you as a person to live through other people's eyes. That's amazing. Yeah. And I know the thing is, you know, sometimes on reality TV shows, mm -hmm. they kind of depict you a certain way by how they edit. Right. And I know that from, you know, watching the show, I noticed that there's a certain image that, you know, you feel you might have, but in real life, I mean, you're the biggest sweetheart in the world. Thank you. Yeah. So reality shows should be taken for what they are. They're entertainment. Sure. Now, by no means is our show scripted or fake, but they do selectively show an over the top outrageous version of yourself so you know I am over the top glam obsessed which comes through on the show I can be accused of being snobby okay and that's only because I don't like to party I don't like right. to drink but I'm not a mean girl I'm not you know as conceited as I might come across on the show but it's all in fun and that was me I really said those things I really did those things the show is just made in a way to make it as entertaining as possible. absolutely well, I noticed that you really do have a great way of letting things just roll right off your back I really don't care if somebody wants to criticize me for something that is harmless right. granted if I'm doing something wrong if I'm hurting people doing something illegal those criticisms are well warranted but if you're gonna tell me that my hair is too big right. or I wear too much makeup or something like that, you know what, this is my life. I'm gonna live it the way I want. You live your life. If how I look bothers you, that's your problem. Hey, you must be doing something right if they're talking about you, right? That's right. There you that's go. That's right. Lily, wow, what a great day. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun and I think Coconut had the best. Coconut, she was such a good girl. She was. She's a star, she's a diva. Pretty much, you right? Just wait. 
Oh, I know. She's like, like, look out, look out, Rin Tin Tin. Here comes Coconut. She's gonna be walking the runway before you know it. Louis Vuitton. She has her own agent. Oh, she does, yeah. does she? Yeah, and her own Instagram and Twitter. Wow, hello, Just how you doing? Well, we gotta make sure that everybody knows where to get your goods and services, too. So what's that website again, one more time? Halffate.com for the bikinis, Lily Lashes for the lashes, and Lily Hair for the extensions. Wow, okay. A lot of Lily going on. Yeah, a lot of Lily, and we love Lily. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming and getting a glimpse into my world. It was amazing. It was thank very you amazing. So and you know what? Good luck on everything you're doing. You too. Keep up the steam, because uh, you know what? You're really moving. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to go do a photo shoot now. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait. And it uh, seems pretty exciting. Now, we got three looks planned today. I can't wait, and I can't wait for you you guys all see it. So uh, until next time everybody, thank you for being here and just remember to enjoy. Okay, welcome back. Thanks to all of our guests on this week's show, to Todd DeMann and Chef Raffi of Freshology for serving up their healthy and delicious dishes, and to Lily Galici for opening up her home and sharing her glamorous lifestyle. Until next time, just remember to enjoy. <laughs>